Hello everyone and welcome back to the Perfunctionist channel. You find me here on a gig, just recording on my phone. We are between sets at the moment and I'm feeling a bit rough, I'm feeling a bit ill. I was fine earlier on and as the day went on I started to feel really ill and my stomach had gone and making regular visits to the, the, gent, the gentleman's room. And in the first set I had to come off halfway through because I felt really sick. I did end up going back on again, but I ended up just sitting on my amp and slumping and not, it wasn't a good look. And I ended up having to come off again when I, once, once I could see, could see that the songs that remained were doable without a guitarist. So I tried to stay for as long as I could, but in the end I had to just, I just had to come off for the last couple of songs. So we're in the, in between sets at the moment and the guys have actually gone back on stage to get ready for the second set and they've kind of vetoed me from going back on. Um, saying that my health comes first, which is very kind and probably the right thing to do. Plus, I'm feeling really weak at the moment. To, to do a second set will be tough for me. So I've decided, or they've decided for me, that I'm going to just sit the second set out. However, our sound engineer, Raphael, he's going to maybe do a couple of songs on the guitars, which is my gear. So I thought, let's see if I can turn a bad thing into something positive kind of uh, use the negative energy of the situation and turn it into hopefully a positive video. So today's video, <laughs> I might as well make the most of it, is about how easy is the Helix to use for someone who's never used it before. So the patch I've been using all night is my JCM800 patch, which you can download from the custom turn part of the Helix website if you, if you like the sound of it. Check the video out on that one. That's probably all Raphael's going to need to use for the songs that he's going to play. And he's not going to play the whole set, but he's going to play on a couple of, of songs. Uh, and I've explained to him that there's like the, I call them presets at the bottom, but they're actually snapshots, just so I don't have to explain what snapshots are. And there's some effects along the top, along the top row, which is how, if you've seen my other videos, you know that's how I usually will set my layout for my presets. What's interesting is how, well, how easy will it be for someone who's not used the Helix before to use the Helix. So it's my preset, but it's pretty straightforward, so it should be fine. I don't think he's going to be doing, doing much changing of patches and changing of amps. So I, what I'll do is I'll ask him how easy it was for him to use it, and then we'll see how that works and maybe turn this negative situation into a positive video. Yeah, it's a good idea. Let's not do a video here because there's too much reverb. Reverb, let's go out here. Alright, so this is Raf, our sound engineer and amazing guitarist as well, who covered for me on a couple of songs. Uh, so he used my Helix with no prep, no preparation. So just a couple of things. First of all, how easy was the layout to understand? Actually, it was really easy because I could read uh, on the stage. It was dark, but you can read easily. So I could see the type of delays, the solo, so for sure. When you wrote solo, I just, okay, if I press, probably will be like more distortion and a little bit louder. Okay. And yeah. And did you have any, any problems? Yes, tune guitar. So actually I just was trying to, to see and I wasn't able to find any button. It's like writing tune. Oh, for a tuner, you're looking for a tuner? For tuning, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I think I've told you since then that the tuner, you, you, you hold the flashing one, the tap tempo. Okay. Obviously, you didn't know that. I uh, tried to, to, to check, but I didn't see, so that's the only point. It wasn't clear. The rest was really, really easy to find. Okay, good. Um, so I didn't tell you this before, but un underneath, on the bottom row, they're called snapshots. They're like presets, but you can change yeah. the para parameters of the preset. From the two left, yes, one on top and one on, on bottom. Yes, yeah, so but the top was the effects. No, no, yeah, the tops, but on, on, the, on the left. So basically on the left, because I, I saw it's like to change bank. Yeah, you can change bank. So if you yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. use a different amp, so for when I did uh, I'm a Believer, and I just found out the singer from the Monkees died today, I think, so rest in peace. Um, but I used the AC30 for that. I don't know if that's what they used on the record, but I, I switched to the AC30 amp. Uh, in case people don't know, I'll skip myself on camera. I managed to come back on stage for the last, I don't know, half of the set, and the second set, 
got my second wind. So I managed to come back on every on everybody, my Backstreet Boys. So back in business. Uh, so as someone who's just used the Helix on stage and also who has to sound engineer do the sound engineering off on the in the front of house, how does the Helix sound to you? Amazing, amazing. It will sound really good in the And you don't have to well. you don't have to be nice because it's for my video or because No, no, really, really it sounds really good. And the guitar as well, and was I, I really like the tension, but the, the the helix was really really easy to to use because basically I don't know how to to set up, but you made really clear. It's like I could see clean punch solo, and I don't remember the back, but yeah. Yeah, I think clean crunch, clean push crunch solo. Yeah, that's and uh, that's why I didn't change anything because like I've just tried. You said use punch i've heard clean and punch i say okay let's go with punch. i think i said pushed but it may be oh, sorry yeah. <laughs> punch, push 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 it's like clean but with a little bit more hair yeah um and had did you notice the stereo the stereo effect no no okay no. did you notice it like maybe in sound check no because uh, in the sound check yes but uh in the ims because uh, i think the vocals for me it was loud yeah also as well i think i might have turned it off in, okay. in the in is because well, when I came back on it was it was off. Okay. So maybe I turned it off That's why beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you could could you hear it in, in the front of house? Yes. And does it make a difference? For sure. Well, do you think other sound engineers would like it? I hope so. <laughs> cool. All right, Raphael, thank you very much. Uh, you've got thank some you. some other projects and bands that you have, don't you? Yes, I do. Go uh, on, tell, while you're here, just let, tell us what they are. Um, I have a group called Realiza, and you can check the subscription in the. the yes, you take my job for me. I'll, I'll make yes. sure that's in the description. Yeah, there. yeah. No. make sure you send it to or me. Or click here. Cool. Anything else? No. Just cool. A really well, good Raf, thanks for covering covering for me, oh, thank and you. thanks for making our our life as a band very easy. <laughs> cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, at the mice, Mermont. At the mice. So it's after the show now, uh, so what happened? So I was ill for the first half, into the second half, and I thought, if I feel well enough, I will try and catch the last couple of songs in the second half, in the second half, uh, second set, hour set, and managed to do a few songs, which is good, and I actually felt more energised. I felt really good, actually. I was able to do backing vocals as well. So I... I did that. The crowd was great, so it's good to. I've, I'm really glad that I managed to get back on that one. Hello, it's all right. <laughs> Carry on. You can say hello to my YouTube fans if you want to be in the video. You're very welcome. Come and say hello. <laughs> hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm Hi. just giving them an update, as 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 all the the the, the kids are doing these days. Absolutely, everything's <laughs> documented. Anyway. I've been a little, very ill this year, strangely. So you may remember in, during the summer I was kind of ill. I've posted a couple of things about being in hospital. I'm not sure if this is related, but yeah, we managed to get through it. Um, I feel like John Terry, you know, the Chelsea player. I don't know if he still plays for Chelsea, you know, soccer, football. But he basically, he, was, he, was, he wasn't playing on this game. And then his team won it. And then he put his, oh, his football kit on from wearing a suit. I went and joined the festivities, which I guess you can't really blame me for that, but I kind of felt like I was doing that, where I managed to catch the last few minutes of the, well, the last few songs of the gig and got to celebrate at the end, of the, you know, to the adulation of, of everyone, which it wasn't really that much, to be honest. But anyway, that's the update. I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm just packing down and getting changed. You can see my T-shirt is different now. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting to some extent um it's probably the best i'm going to do at the moment but i'm going to keep the videos going um check out the other videos for more interesting content about the helix and about pedals and le guitar lessons and how to play this song and that song um but yeah like comment subscribe and all that thumbs up um download my helix patches if you want buy me a coffee links all of those links down below Raphael's link down below as well uh, and i hope you are well and we're in the f in the christmas season now so i hope you're having a good one Hope you have a wonderful um, Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.